Michael Venom Page appears to land a right leg kick on Goiti Yamauchi's kneecap that essentially makes it look like it explodes. We have sports medicine physician Dr. Anish Garg helping us break this injury down. Before we get started, consider smashing that subscribe button, especially if you love sports and if you're interested in learning more about the medical side of sports injuries. And make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you're learning something new today. Hi everyone, this is Anish Garg from Dynamic Athlete and Traveling Sports Doc. We're gonna go over this nasty kick to the knee. Let's go through this and as we kind of go through, you'll see the right leg land right on top of the kneecap right there that patella and you see the indentation so what's going on here what we're looking at here is the patellar ligament and you can see that this ligament connects to the right tibia and if we go up superiorly it also connects to this tendon which is the tendon of the entire quad muscle here there's a couple of things we'll walk through this as we continue to see this play out. You can see this injured fighter start to plant on that right leg and isn't able to do so and, and ends up collapsing here. So let's run through that again in slow motion here. Here's the original impact and then he's actually going to try to plant and stabilize and can't do it. So if you look at his face even, it isn't so much from a pain standpoint, but it's the instability that he just goes right down. And if we pause it here, you can see on the top of his knee. So it looks like the patella has been kicked upward into the quad. And you can see that sort of irregular shape on the top of the knee and leading into the quad and even potentially some some retraction of that quad as as it's lost its insertional piece from the patella tendon but my thought here is that this is actually a patella tendon rupture with the patella tendon getting driven up and this may give us a, another look at it so you see the initial impact and if you can see right there the irregularity that takes place right there and that's a really good shot from a lateral side that you can see the irregularity and as we kind of go through this, you can see him start to flex and then with his momentum start to start to extend, but you continue to see that irregularity in the top part of the knee, the bottom part of that quad, and that's likely going to be a result of a disruption of the patella tendon and that therefore driving up that patella into the quad, into the knee. So structurally, you can take a look. It's really, it's really unstable. If we look at this again, this is where he tries to stabilize himself and just isn't able to do that. And you get that immediate collapse down. And I think that's really important here. So from a structural standpoint, this is an instability from a patella tendon tear. The other potential potential is a patella fracture and that could lead to that indentation but I don't know if that would actually give you that change in the anatomy that we saw from the other picture so that's one and then this gets into what do you do from this point on likely he's going to have to go into a knee immobilizer from an acute standpoint and from my experience there's really only four reasons you need to put somebody in a knee immobilizer the first would be a quad tendon rupture the second would be a patella fracture. The third would be a patella tendon rupture. And fourth would be a tibial plateau fracture. Those are things that need to be stabilized in a knee immobilizer. When you put athletes in a knee immobilizer, when they don't need to, the challenge becomes is you take away their range of motion and you make their recovery harder and this is especially the case in an acl tear so just for future reference for those of you that follow along with us these are the four reasons to put somebody in a knee immobilizer versus a hinge knee brace or a knee brace with a patella buttress one of the things that i wish we had was how he got up and how he was treated that may give us more information so if anybody has something like that you can forward that on to us and we're happy to take a look at it hope you guys learned something new today if you did make sure you hit that thumbs up button comment below let me know some questions you might have or if you want me to cover any injuries that you've seen recently all right guys peace